Happy New Year, everybody. Ricky Dem Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from Parks Racing, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, on Sunday afternoon, December the 1st, 2012. This is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 8 from Parks, 322 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Six for a long sprint on the dirt track. Three year olds race for an allowance purse of some $47,000. Contenders number five, Yo Coffee. Number seven, Cost 50th. Number two, no if and what's and buts, and the paired entry of number one, Gabby's Miracle, and the stablemate, 1A, race to the top on my list as well. Number five, Yo Coffee, the overall speed and pace profile leader in this allowance field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, nice early speed abilities to complement. It's coming off a power run win to break his maiden in his first asking. Jockey Jose Flores was in his irons for that win, which produced a positive 840% return on investment in the process. Back today for his second ride, gunning for back to back circle trips. Number seven, cost is 50th. This hit the board in three of his last five, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Race 8 summary, number 5, Yo Coffee, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 7, Costas 50th, number 2, No If, What, or Buts, and the paired entry of number 1, Gabby's Miracle, and the stable mate, number 1A, race to the top on my list as well. That's 5721 in the 8th from Parks for Racing. Have a couple of bonus long shots for you to ponder today. Let's go to... Uh, the fairgrounds in New Orleans. First race seven, number three. Wildcat Nation nine to two in the morning line drops in class by three units. Is the speed leader in his field, sprinting at today's distance of five and a half furlongs on the turf. Hialeah Park race five, number seven. Gizmo nine to two in the morning line qualifies as a trackmaster plus power pony. Takes a class drop, comes off a power run place, finishing his last start, missing a circle trip in that race by just a photograph neck at the wire. So handicapping from Parks Racing, I still call it Philly Park. On New Year's Day, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com reminding you as always to please bet your head, not over it.